With over 40 years of experience, the fine folks at Steffi's Country Catering in Adrian can provide you with several scrumptious options for your next family gathering, corporate event, or tailgate. Make sure to try one of their custom meat and cheese trays or pick up a delicious Sunday takeout special. Steffi's Country Catering is a leader time silver best of winner three years running. And as the holidays approach, get back to celebrating with friends and family and leave the cooking to Steffi's. Sugar Rush Cupcakes by Tara are available by order. At Steffi's Country Catering, find them on Facebook.
just finishing up a 100% outside renovation project at Katanic Store. Don't miss out. Come and see us. Check out our Pennsylvania skill game room. We have the newest machines, the newest games. We have five machines. We're about to add a six machine. $10,000 jackpots on all six machines. Don't miss out on a chance to win. We have the lowest possible prices and the best quality of anybody in the area. We'll take it up against anybody in the area. We put our stamp of approval, hashtag Sable Meat, on every single package. And we're here to serve you every single day. We also have Chef Prepared, Chef Paul Prepared Sushi, everyday fresh, and Sushi Wednesday, $5 sushi roll, and you can win by liking and sharing our favorite page, a Sushi Magnet shirt. Don't forget to check out our millions of bakery deli products that we're making fresh every day. Appreciate all the support out there. We can't do what we do without you. Come and see us. Protecting the things you love and how you do so is among the most important decisions you'll ever have to make. 
TGIF Solutions can provide you with the peace of mind by supplying answers to all of your insurance needs, whether it be home, auto, business, life, or farm coverage. Contact the team at the Shellhammer Atwood Agency today in West Catanning to be sure that you, your loved ones, and the things that matter most stay safe when it matters the most. TGIF Solutions, insurance for what matters. Shop and Save at Franklin Village is a family-owned, community-dedicated supermarket with a wide variety of quality food and friendly personnel to make your shopping experience easy. Stop by their award-winning butcher shop where you'll find the freshest cuts of USDA-inspected beef, pork, and poultry. Head to the bakery for the freshest bread and rolls, and don't forget to stop by the deli for an excellent selection of cold cuts, meats, cheeses, and prepared foods like their fantastic fried chicken. That's Shop and Save at Franklin Village. Douglas Insurance Services, located in Sarver next to Freeport High School, is an independent insurance agency, which means they've made available some of their best companies for your online quick quotes. Douglas Insurance Services offers personal insurance coverages to their clients in Pennsylvania, including individual annuities, boat and watercraft, auto, condo, and flood insurance. Call them today at 1 800 722 9990. Douglas Insurance Services, a proud sponsor of Freeport Athletics.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, friends. And welcome to our first WPIAL Varsity Volleyball match of the season here on High Top Sports Network. My name is Josh Schreckengast, joined by Joe Rhodes. And we've got Freeport and Mars on deck here shortly. A battle in Class 3A, Section 5. And uh, these teams split uh, with Armstrong and Hampton last year, a four-way tie for section champion. So uh, both teams co-section champions, and they are going at it here on this Tuesday night to open the season. And uh, the team's getting ready right now, just finishing the warm-ups. We've got uh, a lot of different names on the rosters, Joe. Uh, we were going through them prior to this game, and... Uh, still see uh, a couple of uh, standouts. Yeah, we had a chance to watch both of these teams a season ago, not just on the volleyball court, but a lot of these players also on the basketball court as well, Josh. So some familiarity for us uh, broadcasting here tonight with some of the personnel for both these teams. But before we go any further, Josh, I'd just like to stop for a moment and wish you a very merry and happy birthday, everyone. And if you see Josh or get a chance to hit him up, send him a text, message him on social media, make sure you give a big happy birthday hello, Josh. Uh, turning 27 <laughs> for the... Uh, 27 for like the or for the 10th uh, time yeah i was gonna say the 16th time so uh, happy birthday josh glad to be uh kicking off the volleyball season with the year tonight uh, but yeah uh two teams that certainly have winning traditions freeport uh, 2017 state champions uh several district championships as well so it'll be interesting if you said four-way tie for the championship a season ago the personnel changes of course that'll happen at this level um but, you know, the thing about Freeport, as you know, they're able to reload quickly. Uh, Mars always uh, lined with great athletes, whatever sport it may be. It just seems like they're able to put out key one athletes left and right uh, and rebuild teams just like we just spoke of the Yellow Jackets. So, yeah, Josh, I uh, need to see these two uh, defending co-champions uh, face off here in week one. Um, know that the, uh, the other two... Uh, section champions in that equation are not facing off tonight. Armstrong, we know, uh, playing on the road at Burl. Uh, another game outside of this section, uh, if you're interested in, it's Kiski versus Greensburg Salem. That is on High Top Sports Network here tonight. So if you get bored with listening to Josh and I ramble on here, you can tune in to Jake DeLuca, who is at Kiski area tonight, covering that one. But yeah, uh, great to be back in the gym here, Josh. Uh, great to be back covering volleyball. It's a great sport. Obviously, I wasn't as familiar with it until I started uh, broadcasting, of course, and writing for uh, uh, publications in the past. But as I got to watch more and more volleyball, I've really become a, a fan. It's a, it's, a, it's a sport with a lot of skill necessary to be successful, a lot of different skill sets needed to be good in volleyball. So excited to be back here in the gym, as I said, and uh, glad to be here with you. Yeah, well, first off, I'm going to say thank you for the birthday wishes much appreciated there sir we are not only business partners we are best friends Buddy. and uh really thankful that you let everyone out there know that it is my birthday so i assume the social media will have some notifications after this game but joe um we're getting ready here for the national anthem and the starting lineups and we are about to kick off the 2021 varsity volleyball season here at Freeport Area Middle School. Got a great gym here at the middle school. And that is where the Freeport Yellow Jackets varsity volleyball and basketball teams play. We are going to uh, get underway here as the teams line up. Nice little round of applause here. Coach Tom Phillips' wife on the public address and uh, Greeting the fans, you know, we didn't have them last year, Joe. Uh, one of the few ways, maybe the only way, for people to see these games uh, was High Top Sports Network. We were here last year during COVID. And I will go through your rosters right now. For Mars, number 23, Lauren Atwell. Number 16, Ava Black. Number 20, Ava Donnelly. Number one, Yamino Ikeda. Number four, Lily Javor. Number eight, Emma Leibert. Number 27, Emily Long. Number five, 
Kate Muchnock, number 14. Lucy Morlino, number 11. Ella Nikotra, number 3. Anna Petrozinski, and number 25, Megan Yaniff, and we will pause for the Star Spangled Banner. Terrific rendition of the uh, national anthem there, Josh. She killed it. Yeah, she definitely did. And I wish that I had a proper roster. Uh, number 18. On the Freeport sideline there. And I don't have an 18 on my roster. But uh, tremendous rendition of the Star Spangled Banner. want to also say thanks to Freeport Athletic Director Sean Stevenson for the birthday wishes. So... People are listening. <laughs> Mars. Sean, if you're listening, I owe you your shirts. I didn't forget them. I'll bring them for football on Friday. That's I right. I just thought of that right now. Got those high top shirts for Sean. Ava Black being introduced right now. And Joe, we kind of talked about her a little bit off camera. Uh, really a presence there in the middle for these fighting planets. Yeah, absolutely, Josh. Uh, not only in the volleyball court, we mentioned one of those multi-sport athletes that uh, we got to see several times last school year. Um, terrific on both uh, the volleyball court, basketball court. Uh, excited to see what she's going to do this year. We're going to see her a lot and the rest of her uh, teammates in uh, several sports this year on High Top Sports Network. And the Yellow Jackets about to be introduced here. Starting lineup, first match of the season. And uh, I know Coach Phillips pretty well. And I'm going to say without a doubt that he has high, high expectations for this team this season. Yeah, always the case here. The, just this tradition of excellence here at Freeport. Just numerous uh, titles. Of course, we mentioned that 2017 state title among those. So certainly a, a tradition here that uh, if you don't know about it, you darn well should in terms of Whoopiel Volleyball. Yeah, if you just look over across the gym from where we are, Joe, section champions since 2005. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, including last season's co-championship with Mars, Armstrong, and Hampton uh, in a shortened year in 2020, but 15 section championships since 2005 that's a pretty good track record yeah and then if you look over there as well you see that since 2010 five Whippeal championships to josh so pretty impressive there and then also to go with that four Whippeal uh finalists so that means they basically have played in uh nine Whippeal championships since 2009 so very impressive track record right there and uh, those numbers are evidence of that yeah, and they have a banner up on the uh, far wall here. It says Freeport Volleyball, tradition never graduates. And I will tell you, that is an absolute fact. This tradition, this program, it doesn't graduate. It just keeps getting passed down. And uh, these Yellow Jackets looking to open up 2021 season with a victory over Mars. Going to have their work cut out for them, Mars. A couple of... Uh, strong inside presences at the net. Uh, Ava Black, as mentioned, Warren Atwell, 
as well. So we will see what will happen here between Freeport and Mars as we get this season underway. Let's go. The uh, call to arms has been sounded, Joe. And uh, Mars fired up right there. They are ready to go. Freeport, a little more collected. Kind of just, hey, this is our home court. Let's take care of business. We know this is a good team. And uh, going to find out, at least get an early indicator of what these teams are going to have in store in 2021. It's kind of like the uh, the mantra, act like you've been here before. It seems like the, the cool, calm, collective nature of the Yellow Jackets is kind of uh, that right there. Act like you've been here. They certainly have. So we are about to get it underway here. And the official going through the rotation for Mars. You may know Akeda checking in. And getting it sorted out here in this Whippeal opener. Student section being called out here and uh, ready to cheer on their jackets in this season opener. Got a cardboard cutout of someone over there. I don't know. Looks like Jesse Palmer. <laughs> Not sure who it is, Joe. I mean, Does that help you? is that a guy? Who is that? That's a guy. Definitely I a mean, guy. maybe okay. Harry Styles I don't with know. a mask on? I'm, I'm so far removed from pop culture. <laughs> uh, I watch a lot of sports. So Freeport will serve here to start it. Little push there goes wide, and the first point of the match will go to the Jackets. At the service line right now, number 23, Cassidy Dell. And a good serve by Dell right there, and that's going to be an ace, Joe. Unable to return it are the Fighting Planets. Picture perfect start for the Yellow Jackets, and that's exactly what you want to see in your home opener here, especially facing off against the team that paired the uh, section title with you a season ago. Dell, another good serve right there. A little push blocked at the net. And played across by Atwell. Freeport sets it up, and the kill right there will go to number 24 for the Jackets. That is Josie Russo. And Dell back to the line. Freeport up 3 0 right now, early going first set. Mars a little trouble with that serve by Dell. Freeport able to set it up. And Selker, little push right there, unable to be returned by the Fighting Planets. So Freeport up 4 0 quickly here, Joe. Yeah, and again, it's just a continuation of that picture perfect start that I mentioned a moment ago. And Freeport coming out with all the energy. Atwell sets up the service return, played across, little volley here. Freeport going to get a chance. Played across. Here's Atwell with a little punch. Nice save. And dug out there, but unable to be played. That was Dell coming up from the back row. And uh, teammates, maybe a little miscommunication there, Joe. Kind of just standing around and unable to play the ball. Really the, the first sign of any kind of mistake for Freeport. Looking pretty impressive there for the first four points. Russo fires it in there. Good dig by number 25. That's Megan Yanis. But Freeport will come away with the point. Now up 5-1 to one and will regain the service. Selker, service there, trying to set up Atwell. She just plays it across. Free ball, Selker, back row. Good set right there into the block. That is going to be a strong kill for number 14, Erica Lampus, as 
Mars blocked it out of bounds. So six to one here in favor of the Jackets. Little trouble right there again on the service return off the basketball hoop. And Akeda unable to play it after that wicked bounce off the retracted hoop there, Joe. Yeah, Mars not looking very sharp here, making some uh, unforced errors right there. Another one not really able to get that dig down and making things difficult thereafter. Sydney Selker sends it across. Back row played by the Fighting Planets, and that will be a kill right there, strong by Ava Black. It's really the first we've seen uh, a kill of that sort from Mars so far. When we were talking before the, the game started, Josh, we thought that Mars might have the size advantage here, but so far it looks like Freeport's really been controlling things at the net outside of that last point. And to serve here for Mars will be Ava Donnelly, number 20, sends it across. Set up here, just played free ball. At the net, dug out nicely by Freeport. Played across, free ball. And Black tries a little push right there. And she will get whistled for a ball handling violation. So the point will go to the Yellow Jackets. 8-2 to two here, early going first set. Yeah, hustle is all the reason for that point right there. Freeport not giving up on it. A couple difficult digs, but coming away with the point, well-deserved. So Russo will sit right now and into the game to serve for the Jackets. Number 42, Grace Beach. Beach to the lefty, sends it across. Akeda with the return there, sets it up. And a good dig by Freeport, little push. Played well by Mars. And they're going to have to play a free ball across. So Freeport will get a chance to set up that offense. Quick set. And a kill for the Jackets. That will be number 12, Hadley Heldren. Another bit of miscommunication there. Akeda looked like she had a better position, but it uh, looked like the libero just kind of threw her fist at it. If uh, Akeda would have just been given the opportunity to get it, Josh, I believe uh, the play could have stayed alive. Beach again, lefty serve. Akeda back row, and that one will fall in. Akeda did everything she could to try and play it forward. And that point will go to the Jackets, and we will have our first timeout of the evening called by Mars. And we will take a quick break here on High Top Sports Network for Joe Rhodes. My name is Josh Schreckengoss. We'll be right back. Protecting the things you love and how you do so is among the most important decisions you'll ever have to make. TGIF Solutions can provide you with the peace of mind by supplying answers to all of your insurance needs, whether it be home, auto, business, life, or farm coverage. Contact the team at the Shellhammer Atwood Agency today in West Catanning to be sure that you, your loved ones, and the things that matter most stay safe when it matters the most. TGIF Solutions, insurance for what matters. And welcome back to Freeport Area Middle School. Jackets up 10 to 2 right now and a kill for the Fighting Planets. That is number 25 on the outside, Megan Yanis. And a good side. Uh, side to be signed for the Fighting Planets, Josh, getting that point coming out of the stoppage in the break. You know, sometimes uh, the timeouts work as far as calming your team down and getting them kind of refocused. And if uh, that point uh, any, uh, gives any uh, evidence, looks like it might. So number 10, Emma Balazentis at the service line for Mars. Freeport plays it across here. And into the net is Ellen Nakotra. And that will be a point for the Jackets as that kill attempt came up short. So Freeport at the line here. Lampus sends it across. Black, that's going to be, ooh, I thought it was too long there. But played. Good set right there and a block at the net. Solid play defensively by number 12 for the Jackets. That is Hadley Helgren. So Lampus back to the line here. 12-3 Freeport. And an ace. Just another instance of the uh, Fighting Planets unable to corral that dig. Seen it a couple times uh, so far through this first set, Josh. Yeah, great call, Joe. 
Lampus, one of the two seniors on this Freeport squad, sends it across, trying to set up number 25 there. Megan Yanef, she plays it across. Freeport going to play a free ball. So Mars, a chance to set up, you know, set kind of off center there for Mars. Good rally and a kill for number 23, Cassidy Dell for the Jackets. Yeah, Dell was impressive in that shortened season of the year ago, Josh. We got a, a good uh, glance of this team, and she certainly was one of those important players up front that uh, really helped them to that co-section championship. Freeport able to play the kill attempt, and we're going to get a violation. That is a ball handling error. Two hits there on the Jackets. That is whistled. So Mars, luckily, getting a point right there, kind of stopped the bleeding a little bit. Freeport was on a run. Sent across by number three, Anna Petrosinski, but the Jackets... Able to set up their offense and get the kill. It takes service right back, as well as taking an 11-point lead, 15-4 to here in the first set. Well, that was a great set and kill right there by Mars. Number 20, Ava Donnelly with the kill. Great set by Lucy Morlino. So, service to the Fighting Planets. In the net here, that one's going against Freeport. Yeah, that was a right call. Dell was a little anxious there, trying to go up at least for the block and ended up going into the net. So, at the line will be Yanis. She sends it across here. Trouble. Oh, what a save. Wow. And that one is out of play. It was around the pin anyway, Joe. So that one whistled dead, and a point goes to the Fighting Planets. It's still a heck of a save there by Dell. Report sets it, little push, blocked down by Mars. Dug out there, played across by the Jackets. Another dig, but will fall in. Ellen Akotra, a couple of really good swings on that sequence. And the point will go to Mars. A little run by Mars here after this timeout, Josh. Selker, she's going to get a kill right there through the block of Ava Donnelly. And Sydney Selker with a much needed kill for the Jackets, up 16 to 8 here in the first set. And in to serve for Freeport will be number 25, Leah Schreckengoss. Love that name. I know Schreckengoss. <laughs> Home down at the net, Josie Russo, big time. Okay, I know a couple of Schreckengoss. That's right. You're well-versed. I know there's one out there watching named Jesse right now. That's right. Thank Always a uh, special hello to my brother, Jess. He is... A big fan of High Top. Oh, not even a fan. I was going to say... Uh, a member, a part of the team. Consigliere. Right. Another kill here by the Jackets. They are back up by 10, opening up that double-digit lead once again. And Schreckengost will serve. Ooh, tough play at the net right there by Mars. Freeport scrambling. Play a free ball. Good set. And that one's going to drop in a kill by Lucy Morlino. Good set by Ava Donnelly. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, Mars looking a lot stronger after that slow start. Not as many errors. Uh, just looking a little more crisp than they did uh, prior to that timeout that they uh, had taken a couple moments ago. Yeah, Joe, that timeout, as you said, uh, kind of got the fighting planets to get their bearings here. You may know Akeda will serve for Mars. Freeport playing at Selker comes up to the net and she will record the kill. 
Sydney Selker, uh, we saw a lot out of her last year. Uh, an excellent, excellent athlete here for this Yellow Jacket squad. And that one is going to be long. Sent out of bounds by Cassidy Dell. One of the few mistakes for uh, Freeport from the service line here so far, Josh. Yeah, good point, Joe. Number 14, Lucy Morlino at the service line for the Fighting Planets and a big block right there by number 23, Lauren Atwell. And gets a point for Mars. Morlino serving again, sends it across. Freeport trying to get set up here. Lampus oh. off the net here and right at the net. And Dovey Russo there, too tall. As number 23, Lauren Atwell tried to play it across from Mars right there, but Josie Russo in the area shut that play down. Selker with the serve. Akeda setting it up. And way long there by Atwell. Didn't fully come through the swing, Joe, and uh, just sent it off the back wall here. Freeport just four points away now, Josh, from taking set number one. So Selker served to Akeda and Russo right there, but she pounds it out of bounds. And uh, I think if you ask Josie Russo, she wants that one back. I yeah. mean, it was set up perfectly. Yeah, it was a great set. Just kind of the direction of which uh, she aimed. She only had so much uh, room there in this near sideline. Just couldn't sneak it in. So Ava Donnelly will serve here for Mars. Russo sends it across here. Mars able to dig it out. Going to play a free ball. Oh, into the net. And an unforced error there by Donnelly. So that makes the score 22 to 12. And another timeout by the Fighting Planet. So while they take a timeout, we'll take a timeout. For Joe Rhodes, my name is Josh Rankengoss. We'll be right back. Douglas Insurance Services, located in Sarver next to Freeport High School, is an independent insurance agency, which means they've made available some of their best companies for your online quick quotes. Douglas Insurance Services offers personal insurance coverages to their clients in Pennsylvania, including individual annuities, boat and watercraft, auto, condo, and flood insurance. Call them today at 1-800-722-9990. Douglas Insurance Services, a proud sponsor of Freeport Athletics. And welcome back to Freeport Area Middle School for this evening's WPIAL Class 3 Section 5 matchup between Freeport and the visiting Mars Fighting Planets. Right now in the first set, Freeport up by 10, 22 to 12. And the Yellow Jackets have the service right now. Looking to put this one down quickly, if possible. Number 42, Grace Beach. The lefty sends it across. Oh, good dig by Akeda back there. Ooh. Another one, but unable to be played by the Fighting Planets. Umeno Akeda really working hard. I mean, she didn't even get a chance to get to her feet there, Joe, for that second dig. No, she was uh, basically parallel with the floor there, laying out for that one impressive hustle. Just couldn't come up with the play. Beach to Akeda, a little push across there by the Fighting Planets played. By Freeport, sent back row. Akeda there with the dig. And number 25 into the net, Megan Yanis. And that will get us to set point here. 24 to 12 in favor of the Jackets. Trying to ice this first set. Beach lefty serve across Akeda. Back row. And Mars will just, oh, they were going to try to just play it across. But guess what? That one ends up short and in the net by Yanif. So 25 to 12. Freeport takes the first set here in this match. And uh, Mars is going to have to regroup a little bit. Freeport firing on all cylinders there, Joe. Yeah, they were. And uh, I think that first set really came down to who made uh, more mistakes. And that was clearly Mars. Freeport really limiting the damage in terms of that. I think really only one uh, service error uh, during that first set, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong there. 
uh, the one by Dell. Otherwise, I think it, I think it was one. Yeah. yeah otherwise, very sharp. Uh, have the uh, Yellow Jackets been in that? Or they were in that first set, looking to carry it over here in the second set. As for Mars, a lot of errors in, in different ways: passing errors, service errors, ball handling. Ball, yeah. So you know, certainly a lot of things that they need to clean up. They did look better as that set went on, um, but certainly some work to do here for Mars now trailing one set to none. Well, you know, they give the team three minutes between sets, and uh, Freeport head coach Tom Phillips needed about 40 seconds, and his team was back out ready to go. So while we have a couple of minutes here between sets, we are going to take a quick break, hear from one of our sponsors here on High Top Sports Network. For Joe Rhodes, my name is Josh Schreckengast. We'll be right back. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries and home and auto insurance from State Farm. Combine and save. In Ford City, talk to State Farm agent Ryan Bowser today. Shop and Save at Franklin Village is a family-owned, community-dedicated supermarket with a wide variety of quality food and friendly personnel to make your shopping experience easy. Stop by their award-winning butcher shop where you'll find the freshest cuts of USDA-inspected beef, pork, and poultry. Head to the bakery for the freshest bread and rolls, and don't forget to stop by the deli for an excellent selection of cold cuts, meats, cheeses, and prepared foods like their fantastic fried chicken. That's Shop and Save at Franklin Village. And welcome back to Freeport Area Middle School. Getting ready for the second set here between the Jackets and the visiting Mars Fighting Planets. Freeport able to take that first set 25 to 12. So in control of this match, we had a little tears for fears. While we took a step away there to thank some of our great sponsors. Everyone wants to rule the world. Making a comeback. Yes, the 80s in general seem to be musically. Yeah, as you know, Joe, I mean, I have 12-year-old twins, and uh, they really quote a lot of 80s stuff. They, I said, is this back in fashion now? It's got because be. I was thinking it should be the 90s, but they told me, you know what, Dad? You know nothing. You're not cool. It's the 80s. What do they know anyways? I'm like, I live through that. First service out of bounds. And a nice eye there by Freeport. That's a hard one to have to let go. And uh, sure enough, getting off to another one point or uh, getting the first point of the set. And I, that always bodes well, I think, when you're able to get that early lead and really uh, shape the way the set turns out. Oh, and that's going to be an ace for the Jackets from the service line there. Number 23, I believe that's Cassidy Dell. Yes, it is. And great hustle there by the uh, Mars Libero. I want to give her a little shout there. Did wasn't able to make the play, but made a diving attempt and went sliding into the wall there. Dug out back row into the net. Freeport unable to play it. So Mars will get a point and the service. And played across there by Atwell at the service line. Number 20, Ava Donnelly, she sends it across. Oh, and that was going to fall just out of bounds. Russo tried the back corner and missed. So we are all knotted up here at two apiece early in the second set. Donnelly serve across. Report sets it up. Selker in there right off the net and able to be played by the Fighting Planets. Going to set her up again. Sydney Selker. Hard spike into the hands of Petrosinski. She was unable to pass it forward. So a point for the Jackets. Yeah, Selker just hard to handle right now. Not the first time we've seen a, a dig attempt that went far off the target and uh, where the Mars um, recipient was hoping it would go. So Mars playing Selker serve across free ball set up bump set and a kill right there by Lampus. So Freeport another point right there and you know what setting it up off a of bump set Joe is much more difficult than a, a you know a traditional set and Lampus was able to hammer that one home. Oh. 
And another point to the Jackets. Ava Soilis, the libero for Freeport. That really nice bump set on the previous point to Lampus. At the net, right there, and played down for a point. Freeport in control at the net. We're going to get a timeout here. And that was number 11, which, oh, Natalie Volick. You know, we, uh, we got a roster here, Joe, and uh, there's a lot of scribbles and scratches. Bud Volick able to play that one at the net and down. So 6-2 to two Freeport early in this second set. Haven't heard much from the Yellow Jacket student section so far. They haven't really been needed. So, Josh, uh, I have a text about uh, gyro, uh, gyro gate. Josh wanted a uh, gyro from Freeport here a couple weeks ago for football. Uh, Fred Soilis, who makes those gyros, said, to, if Josh wanted a gyro, he should have came two weeks ago. Oh, man. <laughs> Coach, no mercy. You're killing me, man. No mercy. I heard about how good they were. Oh, unbelievable. Authentic. The real deal. And then I'm like, oh, I'll be doing the Freeport game this weekend or this Friday. Good rally here between these two teams. Russo at the net, plays it across. Mars able to set it back up and failed by number 16, Ava Black. And uh, if Mars is going to have a chance in this one, they're going to need to get her going. Yeah, absolutely. And use that size that we noticed in the pregame, Josh. Certainly some size up front, whether it's uh, Black, number 23, who's exiting here, number 10, who's coming in for her. Not a, a very short lineup. Very tall. Yeah, that would be Emma Belazentis in to serve the sophomore. And it seems like when Black's turn in the rotation comes up to the service line, Belazentis comes in. That ball deflected at the net, maybe? Yes, and they will give Freeport the point right there. I thought... Was, I saw a little deflection, Joe. That was right in front of us, though, and that definitely landed on the line, um, squarely on the line, actually. Mars trying to plead that it wasn't, but uh, the refereeing threw on top of it. So Beach, the lefty, sends it across. Oh, good spike there and a nice dig. Played across by Lampus, free ball. Mars setting it up again. And trying to dig it out right there and unsuccessful was number 18 for the Jackets. And I apologize to that young lady. We do not have her on the roster. And she uh, belted out the national anthem, too. I really want to find that out if possible. <laughs> Oh, good rally here between these two teams. Lampus dug out in the back row by Belazentis. Oh, a little push right there. Tricky shot, and it falls in. Cassidy Dell, really a heads-up play right there for the point. Yeah, you got to know when to use that move, and that, that opportunity was ideal for it. You have two girls in front of you right there at the net, just pushing it right over their heads, dropping in that soft zone there. Oh, got to just play it across here. Free ball, Mars. Going to get a chance to set it up. Good dig in the back row. Oh, nice block there at the net. And that point was set up by the block by Hadley Helgren. 9-4 to four here, Freeport in the second set. Jackets took the first set 25-12. to 12. And another block at the net. Boy, oh boy, Hadley Helgren having a nice day in front of that net in the middle, Joe. That middle blocker position. Really has. Lampus service across. 
Oh. And that one will just fall into the middle of the court. Natalie Volick trying to set it back. Uh, kind of between rows right there and just falls in for a point for the Fighting Planets. 10 to 5 here, second set. Nice rally there, finished off with a kill. Number 14, Lucy Morlino. And service will go back to the Fighting Planets here. 10 to 6, second set in this season opener. Service across by Lily Javor. Walk down at the net. Freeport going to get another chance to set it up. Good push right there and dropped in by number 23. That is Cassidy Dell. So she will get a kill right there. And sometimes you don't have to swing the hammer, go to uh, knock it down and get the kill. Sometimes those pushes are just the right move. And the last two times Freeport's attempted them, they've been the perfect opportunities to do so. And that will be a service ace for the Jackets. Natalie Volick at the line. And that one is going to be way long. Hit out of bounds there by Nicotra. Ellen Nicotra, a little too strong on that kill attempt for the Fighting Planets. It is 13 to 6. Good serve again by Volick. Nicotra long again to the near sideline. And out of bounds, so another error. Uh, those attack errors, you know, they'll 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 mount. Oh, and another ace by Volick. Little trouble there by the Mars Libero, number three, Anna Petrusinski. Back row, Volick, right there. The set for Selker. Good dig in the back row. Nice dig there by Lampus. Going to give Freeport a chance. Selker off the block. Oh, played by Lampus right there. A punch. Wow. Not a cross putt played up by Selker. And a great rally right here between these two teams. Free ball across Mars. Going to get a chance to set up the Kotra. Fires to the back row, Volick. And Selker tries. Nothing doing there. Mars, another chance. Oh, and that one came up off of Volick's face. And still, some way, the Jackets able to play. And that's going to be long right there by number four. Really. Javor, what a big rally there, Josh. You wow. Really, really want to see what the, what the momentum does after that play. If Mars is able to maybe win that point there, you don't know what it's going to do for them as far as turning around this set, but Freeport coming up with it there. Yeah, neither team giving up anything, really. And a push right there will fall in for the kill. That was Lucy Morlino. So 16-7 to seven here in the second set. Mars trying to fight back. Boy, oh boy, they really need it in this second set. Umeno Ikeda at the service line. And sends it across. Freeport will play it. That's long off of Kata's fingers, but played back by Mars. Good recovery there by the Fighting Planet. Selker, little push, dug out. Back row attack. And somehow, Ava Donnelly able to go up against Lampus and Russo and able to uh, get that one to fall down on the Freeport side of the net. Sorry, that was Cassidy Dell. Oh, off the hands. Of the Mars Libero, number three, 
and a Petrozinski for a kill. So 17 to 8 right now in this second set. And a service error there by Freeport. That was number 25. Leah Schreckengast. I want to say that's only the second one here, Josh. Pretty clean game from the service line for Freeport. So Morlino will send it across Freeport. And Selker into the block and down. So that is a kill for Sydney Selker. Freeport back up nine here. And Dell will head to the service line. And that will be in and down for a kill here on the near corner. Warren Atwell, perfect placement on that kill attempt. And we'll take this service back for the Fighting Planets. Donnelly to the line, sends it. Oh, man, alive. Great quick set and a great kill there by Josie Russo. Got in on number three, Anna Petrozinski, quickly. 19 to 10, second set. Petrozinski into the net. Mars unable to play it. So passing error right there. Hurts the Fighting Planets. Freeport back up 10 in the second set. Selker. Across once again. Oh, Selker tried to dig it out, but too much. A little sauce on that one from Ava Black. Yeah, she laid out for that, but that ball was placed perfectly and hit very hard. So, Akeda and Atwell will check out for the Fighting Planets. Balazentis at the line. Oh, good dig by Balazanis in the back row off that kill attempt by Russo. Oh, nice dig there. Lampus trying to find it, nowhere to go there. Good dig by Donnelly. Once again, nice rally by these two teams. And right there, number 11 for the Jackets, able to go off the block. Natalie Volick for Freeport, off the block, and Mars unable to play it back. So 21 to 11 here in the second set. And Beach back to the service line, sends it across. Black, good dig in the back row. We have seen some really, really good rallies in this second set. Little push right there by Volick. Mars able to play it, sends it. Bump set to Lampus. Good dig in the back row. This one keeps going, Josh, to your point. Another great rally here. See who can win this one. And guess who wins it? Erica Lampus right there with the kill on the far sideline, perfectly placed. And you got to wonder what that does to the morale after a long rally like that, hanging in there, getting some excellent digs along the along the way, and then to fall short. It uh, can really break a team sometimes. Beach, her serve across. Set up there, dug out by Beach in the back row. Kill attempt by Javer. DeVore, excuse me. And a kill right there by Freeport. So 23 to 11. Jackets have been pretty dominant to this point. Yeah, staying pretty pretty much mistake free for the most part here. And that's been the big problem for Mars so far, Josh. Just too many errors, too many unforced errors. Oh, and a good kill right there by number four. 
Lily Javor. To the line will be the libero, Anna Petrosinski. Free ball here, played across by Freeport Mars, setting up. Dug out in the second row there. Lampus plays it across. And a great kill by number 11, Ellen Akotra. And Akotra working that cross court kind of spike there. Just bringing it in right inside the line there on this near side. She pretty much was on the, as far away on the opposite side of the net as you could get. Sometimes a hard spike to try to complete, but she did right there. And from the back row to the back row, Lampus, oh, and blocked down hard by number 14, Lucy Morlino. So she ends that Freeport kill attempt with a nice block, Morlino. Right at the net, making a play. Yeah, Mars not going away quietly here in the second set, Josh. Some nice plays here over the last few minutes of this one. So service incoming from Petrosinski. Oh, into the block again, but Freeport able to play that one. Free ball. Good dig. Right there by the Jackets, Lampus. She'll try it. And that one is going to be long and out of bounds. So we are at set point once again, Joe. Freeport taking the first set 25 to 12. Up 24 14 here in the second. And Lampus will serve, trying to ice this set for the Jackets. And that one is in. Lampus looked at it Ooh. all the way across the green there by Ellen Nakotra. Another one of those cross court uh, kill attempts there, Josh. Be able to sneak it in the line. Nice, nice strike there. At the net here, and that one will fall on the Fighting Planet side and give the Jackets set number two. So Freeport up two nothing right now, taking the first and the second set. And uh, well, they have eight minutes on the scoreboard there, Joe. I mean, oh, no, it's down to three. <laughs> Started out as eight. But while we have a moment here, Freeport in control of this match season opener here on High Top Sports Network between Freeport Yellow Jackets and the Mars Fighting Planets. Freeport up 2-0, heading into the third set. We are gonna take a quick break and hear from some of our wonderful sponsors here on High Top Sports Network. If you're interested, if you or someone you know is a local business owner in the Freeport Sarver area and are interested in sponsoring our coverage of Freeport Athletics, Feel free to reach out to us. You can find us on social media, Facebook, search High Top Sports at Twitter, at High Top underscore sports, and of course, our email address at the website, staff at hightopsportsnetwork.com, and uh, we'll get you on board. So for Joe Rhodes, my name is Josh Schreckengoss. We will be right back. Gross Embroidery and Sign Shop is the official clother of High Top Sports Network and is a family-owned company that can handle all your custom embroidery, custom sign, and laser engraving needs. Located at 409 Fort Street in downtown Fort City, Gross Embroidery and Sign Shop can create sports and career apparel to the exact specifications of your organization. Their laser engraving department can put your logo or design on glasses, tumblers, insulated cups, signs, coffee cups, and more. Call Gross Embroidery and Sign Shop at 724-763-2461 today. With over 40 years of experience, 
fine folks at Steffi's Country Catering and Adrian can provide you with several scrumptious options for your next family gathering, corporate event, or tailgate. Make sure to try one of their custom meat and cheese trays or pick up a delicious Sunday takeout special. Steffi's Country Catering is a leader time silver best of winner three years running. And as the holidays approach, get back to celebrating with friends and family and leave the cooking with Steffi's. Sugar Rush Cupcakes by Tara are available by order. At Steffi's Country Catering, find them on Facebook. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. Combine and save. In Ford City, talk to State Farm agent Ryan Bowser today. And welcome back to Freeport Area Middle School for this season opener varsity volleyball matchup between the Jackets of Freeport and the Fighting Planets of Mars. Freeport up two sets to none right now. And uh, trying to close this match out in straight sets. Got to get the third set underway here. Officials are checking the rotations, making sure everything's on the up and up. And a little conversation here between the official and the Mars coaching staff. And I think we got everything sorted out now. Want to say thanks to Freeport for allowing us in here to stream these games and provide coverage on High Top Sports Network. Thanks, as always, to Athletic Director Sean Stevenson. Uh, Sean has always been super helpful to us. And uh, pretty much if we need something, he's going to be right there and he will provide it. So thanks to Sean and the Freeport Athletic Department. Happy to be here for this 2021 season opener. And the Jackets will start with service. Let me clear that scoreboard. And Selker, a little push right there, able to be played by Mars. That's going to be long. Oh, played by Freeport. And Lampus with a kill attempt dug out. That one tipped at the net. Freeport able to set it up. And another good rally. We saw quite a few of those in the second set. And the vast majority of them went to Freeport. So right now, Mars fighting. And into the net, an attack error by number 23, Lauren Atwell. First point of the set goes to the Yellow Jackets. Third straight set that that's been the case, Josh. Getting that first point every time had the Yellow Jackets here tonight. Tough off the net. And that will be a kill for Mars. Nothing really uh, Freeport could do right there. The attack went into the net, kind of deflected, and fell into a dead spot. <laughs> Lampus sends it across here. Mars. Oh, and that is called in. Oh. I don't know about that one. That was close. That was very, very close, but... Uh... Atwell going to get credit for the kill right there. And uh, boy, oh boy, Joe, that was kissing the line. Service error there by number 14, Lucy Morlino. And that will tie this third set up at two apiece. Selker with service. Selker from the back row just plays it across to Kata. He'll pass it up forward. A little push. 
And able to be played by the Jackets. Here's Lampus. And that one is going to drop in right inside a diving Yumeno Akeda. That will be a point for the Jackets. Say what you want about some of the mistakes and errors that the Fighting Planets have made here tonight, but their hustle has been outstanding. I haven't really seen them take a play off. A lot of slides, a lot of dives, and probably a lot of brush burns tomorrow for the Fighting Planets. Oh, man. Big time kill right there. And I agree with you, Joe. They have been sacrificing the body. Have these fighting planets, but right there, Atwell swings the hammer and brings it down for the kill to tie this one up at three apiece early in this third set. And Russo answers right back. Josie Russo with the kill, number 24, and she will sub out right now. Grace Beach into the game and headed to the service line. Obviously, Russo, a very tall player, but she got up on that one, Josh. And her swing just seemed like it was just absolutely just uh, straight down with how high she was. And that will be a ball handling error on Mars. Double hit right there. Going to go against the Fighting Planets. That'll make it 5-3 to three here in the third set. Beach continues to serve for Freeport. Oh, man, that one right over top of the net. Akeda, nothing she could really do with it. I mean, that uh, that was an inch above the net right there, Joe, and uh, great serve by Grace Beach. Yeah, great service. Uh, great job at the service line all night for Freeport, really. I want to say uh, maybe two service errors, if I'm not mistaken, all night long. Beach to the back row. Mars going to set it up into the block and down. That is a kill by Lily Javor. That makes it six to four here. Mars will get the serve. Akeda checks out. Into serve for the Fighting Planets is Emma Balazentis. Well, Lampus into the block right there. Mars able to play it and into the net attack error. Helena Kotra could not get it above the net. And that will go for a point to these Yellow Jackets. Erica Lampus to the line here for Freeport. Oh, good kill right there by number four. That is Lily Javor for Mars. And Fighting Planet's not going down quietly here in this third set, Joe. No, they're not. This is uh, By the time Freeport had seven points pretty much in the first two sets, it seemed like the game was already out of reach. Those particular sets were already out of reach. Different look to this uh, third set so far. Oh, into the block, and it will fall. So a kill right there. For number 23 for the Jackets, Cassidy Dell. And, you know, sometimes you don't need to hit it hard. You just get it into the hands and over the defense and uh, falls behind them, drops in for a point. Good dig by Lampus. Contested at the net. And Dell will end up with another kill right there. Running and off one foot, Joe. Went up and just found the ball and uh, made a nice play. Did not allow Mars to send it back. Into the block right there. We're going to get a net violation on free ports. Great call. Excuse me, Josh. Yeah, and credit to these referees. Every time they've had to make a call tonight, they've been prompt and accurate, I think, with yeah. all their calls. So shout out to this particular uh, group of referees here, these two referees. They've been excellent and on the ball here all night. Well, that one went against Selker. So a violation gives Mars a point. Into the net again. I don't know. If Freeport got a block on that, but... No, I think it was just kind of a swing. Hit a yeah. low. Well low into the net there. 
into the net right there was Nakotra. So right now the score 10 to 6 in this third set in favor of Freeport. Oh, good swing right there. And down, Cassidy Dell. Gonna get credit for that kill. Looks like uh, Mars gonna take a time out there, Josh. And one thing to note, well, bad as things got for Mars in that second set, they didn't choose to use a timeout there. They did in the first to try to stop uh, maybe some momentum for on the Freeport side, but uh, not doing so in the second set and deciding to do it here in the third. Yeah, great call, Joe. I think, uh, you know, Mars trying to play out of it a little bit in that second set. And uh, right now, you got to keep it alive here if you are the Fighting Planets. Down five, Freeport starting to get into the zone a little bit as they, you know, have done the first two sets of this match. And more Aiden's games. Take on me by the uh, one-hit wonder. Aha! Correct. I was explaining to my kids over the weekends about one-hit wonders, and that, that was actually a song that I brought up. Could probably made a ton of money for it. Yeah. Were my kids listening? Yes or no? Absolutely not. No. Definitely not. Kill right there by Freeport. That'll make it 12 to 6 here in the third set. Good serve right there, and that will be an ace. I'm just unable to corral the dig there, and we've seen that a couple times tonight. These Freeport sets are just coming in hot. And Mars just unable to keep the play going. Another instance of that right there. Yeah, Leah Schreckengost with a wicked serve there. She finds a good place. You get another one, Joe. It's an interesting English on that uh, on that ball, Josh. When you see it come off there, it's. I want to watch it again on this serve. It's certainly noticeable. Well, it looks like Schreckengoss can kind of do what she wants, you know. Place it, hit it hard. That one is kind of over. Oh, played in the back row. It was played by Bullock. That might have been long. At the net, Selker. And she is going to lose that contested battle to Donnelly. So, 14-7. to seven. Now the score in this third set. Donnelly strong at the net right there, going up. Not allowing Freeport to get it across here. Akeda back into the game to serve. Mano Akeda, number one for these fighting planets. And Russo into the block. That one bounces off the top of the net. Freeport having a little trouble. They're going to save it, though. Free ball across. And a good dig right there, but unable to play it was Schreckengoss. It almost looked like a carry there in which uh, that, the, I didn't see the player there, but kind of just kind of slammed it yeah. down over the net. It looked like a little bit there. Close play. You may know Akeda at the line sends it. Lampus back row. Oh, trouble right there for Schreckengoss. And she didn't have her feet underneath her. Lampus's pass from the back row was kind of long there, Joe. Let's see if Mars can sustain this short little run they're on here. Well, Mars going to get a chance here. Good dig in the back row. Play it across here. Free ball. And that dig... Off of the hands, actually the forearms of Selker there. And out of bounds, so the point will go to the Fighting Planets. Akeda will continue to serve. Oh, man. Miscommunication right there on the passing by Freeport. So now we have a three-point game here. 
Yamato Akeda, a good service run here for the Fighting Planets. Yes, it answers my question, Josh. Uh, could they sustain it? And they are right now only trolling by three points. And Selker, she is going to end that run with a kill. Sydney Selker just finding the right spot and hammering it home for the point. So Cassidy Dell at the line right now for the Jackets. And that one will be long by Atwell. So an attack error there for Mars. Makes the score now 16 to 11 in favor of Freeport. Good serve right there by Dell. And Dell into the block, and that one will fall on the Freeport side of the net. Number 14, Lucy Morlino. Big block for her. Certainly fired up the uh, players in the court for Mars, along with those on the bench, Josh. Lampus. Good dig there by Mars. What a save. Yeah, Freeport able to save it. Play it across. Atwell. Good dig there. Lampus into the block. Back row, and that will be a kill. Right there, Josh, if you looked at where the Mars players were set up, there was just a huge hole right in the middle of the court there. No one's home. Easy point there for free point. Yeah, and Natalie Volick found it right there, Joe. That uh, empty space right there with no defenders in the middle of the court. That makes it 17 to 12. Atwell off the block. Freeport able to play it. It's bumped across right there. Oh, and an attack error by number 16. Ava Black, she tried a, a little bit of a push right there, Joe, and it just came off like the edge, uh, tip yeah. of her fingers almost. Dangerous move there. Throw your finger real easy. Lampus into the block, dug out by Selker in the back row, and we are gonna have a violation. That goes against Freeport. Ball handling error, double hit by the Jackets. So at the line will be Ava Donnelly for the Fighting Planets. And she will have a service error, point two. Freeport right there makes it 19-13. And Freeport six points away from putting this season opening match to bed in straight sets. Beach, good serve. Akeda back row. Lampus, good dig. Nice dig. Trying to set up the kill, and they will do it. Freeport able to knock that kill down into the court. Placement. Adley Helgren. Yeah, placement's been amazing here by Yellow, the Yellow Jackets, just finding those little spots in the Mars defense to place the ball. Beach, that lefty serve. And that one is going to be long. Don't know. No deflection, no touch. So Atwell's kill attempt goes long on the far sideline. Point goes to Freeport, 21 to 13. Jackets four points away here from a straight set season opening victory over Mars. Into the block right there. Mars gonna have to play it across free ball. Little push. And dropped in by Cassidy Dell. Another instance of, of doing it just at the right time. She saw players crashing in the opposite side of the net and just pushed it right over top, finding that open area again. Three point excellent when it's uh, come time to use that push.
Good save there by Fleetport, able to play it across. Ball still alive, Black. He will get a kill right there, but it might be too little too late, Joe. 22 to 14 now. It's gonna take a Herculean effort for uh, Mars to uh, not just get back in this set, but get back in this match. Right. Already down two sets and trailing by eight points in this third set. Atwell sends it. Back row, Freeport set up, Lampas, bang! And that is a kill. I almost called her Lauren. That's her sister, Indeed. Erica Lampus. Got to watch both the sisters play a lot of volleyball here yeah. over the years. So Lampus will serve here just two points away from straight sets victory. Attack error there by number 11, Ellen Nicotra. So Freeport now just one point away here, Joe. Yeah, it's been a uh, very surprising outcome in this game. Two teams, uh, defending section champions, and Freeport looking like a much more dominant team here tonight. Lampus, good serve. Mars just going to play it, and Atwell comes up short. Attack error right there. That will end it 25-14. to 14 And, uh, Joe, you got to be impressed with these jackets. They took care of Mars in quick fashion. Yeah, my recap after that first set was pretty much how this thing continued. Mars making just too many mistakes. Freeport playing pretty uh, mistake-free volleyball. Great from the service line. Great passing. Excellent digs. Um, really, I think that's the biggest reason why you saw such a one-sided game here in a matchup that you thought was going to be a little more competitive considering it was the two, uh, two of the four teams that tied for a section championship a season ago. So... Uh, what a great win for Freeport here tonight. you got to imagine this is going to give them a lot of momentum as they head into this very difficult uh, schedule that lies ahead for them. Yeah, Coach Tom Phillips uh, didn't need long there. Addressed his team for about 30 seconds, Joe. And uh, it kind of looked, I mean, obviously I can't read lips from up here, but kind of looked like he was telling them, look, you took care of business. This is what you're capable of doing. This is what you're capable of doing you know, against anybody. And that's a great point, Josh. Sometimes good coaches know exactly what their team needs to hear, and sometimes less is more. Uh, if your team goes out there and has a, a, an effort like this where there's not too much to criticize, sometimes maybe just don't say anything at all. Less is more sometimes. And Coach Phillips certainly knows what he's doing with the success that he's had here at Freeport. Probably knows exactly how to push his players' buttons to get the most out of it. Yeah, I don't even think he needed to press anybody's buttons tonight. So that, that about wraps it up, right? That will wrap it up here on High Top Sports Network. My name is Josh Schreckengost. For Joe Rhodes, thanks so much for joining us for some varsity volleyball action this evening. Here on High Top Sports Network, Joe, we're going to have some, some more volleyball here in a couple of days, some junior high football. And then, of course, Friday Night Lights, we will have four broadcasts, Armstrong, Kiske, Knock, and Freeport on Friday night for some football so make sure you stay tuned to our social media platforms and our website hightopsportsnetwork.com you can find us on facebook just search high top sports or you can find us on twitter at high top underscore sports thanks again for everyone out there that tuned in to this evening's varsity volleyball matchup freeport taking care of mars in straight sets 3-0 yellow jackets off to a great start in the 2021 season. For Joe Rhodes, my name is Josh Schreckengost. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.